Make professional looking videos today using free webcam and screen capture software. Today I'm going to show you on TK's Niche Site Tips. TK's niche site tips. Uh, we're going to start a new video today. And uh, before you do that, I wish you would subscribe to the subscribe button, tick the bell so you're notified. And uh, throughout the video, if you like anything, go ahead and comment below. See what you like about the video. And we're going to get started right now. So, anyway, uh, I am back, and uh, you're just seeing nothing but a bunch of nonsense right now. And let me open this up so you can see my face. And there I am. So this is me recording on Screencastify right now. And uh, you just right now, that's my desktop. You could actually go to your Chrome and... Maybe start doing tutorials on something like, uh, I don't know how to search search for things on Google. I'm just making things up right now. So I'm just putting, uh, let's see, best way to swing a baseball bat. So we've got that right now. And um, right now you're going to see this go away here in a second when I'm done. Okay, so I just did a search on how to swing the baseball bat. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay, like I said, I'm back right now, and um, you can see that I've got the other one is called Loom Up, and that... Uh, let me go over to that. You can get Loom right here if you just search Loom in the Chrome Web Store. It's got five stars, 5,036 um, uh, 5, you know, reviews on it. Very good software to start. It's very intuitive, very easy. And um, so I like that very much, um, for especially if you're a beginner. And then this other software, which is this, me putting up my picture right there this is an easy uh, um, as well and I'm going to put an extension to this in my description because if you look up it in Chrome Web Store by just type and reflect you get so many results that it's hard to find it so I'll just put a link down to it but what makes this a great um, little tool is you can put it anywhere on the thing and if you come up there you can enlarge it enlarge it even more there we go even larger there's me um, going even larger so I'm going to go back down and then you can reduce it you can invert it upside down I can also have the camera switch which I really don't want to do and I think I lost myself there so well here we go yep, I lost me lost myself on that but we'll just reopen it up Yeah, I just lost myself on this camera, so uh, not good. So I'm going to go back to the screen here. I'm going to close that out. And let's go back to me. And I've also lost, there I am back on the camera there. So I lost that Reflect, but that's a really good program. I was getting a little bit too crazy with it. I think I'm going to come back over here and open it. I'm going to, re, I'm just going to close this. And I'm going to go to remove it from Chrome. And then I'm going to add it back to Chrome.
And let's open it up and see what I get out of it. Probably not going to work yet, but let's see. Oh, there I am. I'm back. Sorry about that. So there I am. And you can also make it in more of a rectangular. And then you can enlarge it there. So this is a great thing. So you can have an uh, audience looking at you while you're talking. Sometimes a good a face, not, you know, putting your face on screen is good to show when you're doing tutorials or just explaining things. So I like that very much. Um, I'm going to go back over here. And this is the Screencastify. Let me reduce this a little bit that I recorded earlier. And as you can see, it has this little watermark on it, which I don't like. Um, so I'm just going to play it. You can see me talking there. So you can see me here below. Ain't that kind of strange? There's me talking below and there's me again. again. But once again, I don't like Screencastify because it has that uh, screenshot. So the two apps that you really want to be using is Reflect. Um, you want to use Reflect. And uh, what else can we use on here? Um, I'm just going to do a search on something. This is a site that I kind of do my news reporting on here. Talking about the stocks and everything. So this is a great thing. So I'm going to go over here and we're going to go. And these are the two uh, extensions you want to use is the Loom video recorder, screen webcam and mic. If you just want to use that instead of using Reflect, go ahead. But I really like Reflect. You can really do some things with that as well. So. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is just kind of a really quick explanation on extensions that you can use. Um, there's other software, free software out there that goes to your desktop. A lot more complicated, but to get started, if, you want to, if you're anxious to get started a video recording, go ahead and use that. In the meantime, if you want to um, uh, get um, more information on creating YouTube videos, I'd like you to, uh, I'm going to show you here, go to Amazon.com. I'll give you the link to it. And there is an author called Brian G. Johnson. And he uh, show you his book, a really good book here. Hey, there I am back. See, it's come back. So there we go. So Brian Johnson called Two Ritual Volume 1. I'll have a link to it below. A very informative guy when it comes to uh, creating YouTube videos and getting uh, showing up on, on the um, search rankings on YouTube and getting your videos starting to rank. So uh, the link will be below, and also there will be some links up here above. Make sure you subscribe and also check out my other video.